Hello, welcome to today's video. So, did you know that about 60% of small businesses use uh, Excel as a source of data storage? Most of these businesses store inventory data, products, um, clients, customers, and even most of the important data they store it in Excel, which makes Excel to be one of the most used data sources uh, in data analysis and even web development. Now, in most cases, if you're a developer and you're transforming a small business and you want to build them a web application, more especially you have this problem. You find that the company or the small organization you are just going to transform they have been heavily using um, Excel and they have a lot of data they have already existing in Excel. And you're asking yourself, how would you transform all this data they have locally in Excel into the new web application you are going to build them? So in today's video, I just want to show you a small API service that I built for developers to solve this problem. So let's say I have this um, uh, data. So this is a familiar data. It's about a hundred records, uh, about 200 records. And it has a familiar data. It has name, age, country. And I got this letter from Kego. Uh, just if you're wondering, you can just go here. It is a known place uh, for data analysis. They have a lot of data sets for free. So you can just go ahead and just get a sample data to try this application. So if you have this kind of data, the purpose of this small uh, application that I built or this small service is transform this data you have in Excel into an API that you can actually use in your application direct. And this is very, very important, more especially if uh, you're a beginner or you don't have time to build a standard API. Most of these businesses, they're not willing to give, you know, uh, a lot of budget dedicated to build like an API or something like that. So in this service that I build, you can simply run, uh, get your Excel file, upload it, and you create an endpoint from this Excel file. So let's just see how this works. So I'm just going to go here. Uh, this is the the application. It's going. It is called Excel API Studio. I'm just going to put it into a new. Uh, browser here so they can just sign up as a new user so you just come and just go ahead and sign up using google and yes just, just give it uh, about a few seconds i'm just going to use maybe how about this one let's just continue so you can just say quickly just create on uh, this and i'm just going to go ahead and go into a uh, dashboard now on the dashboard, the first thing you just want to do is create the project. Let's create a new project here. I'm just going to call this one Netflix. And then I'm just going to say here, I'm just going to say this is a Netflix data center. I'm just going to go ahead and create. So you can see just yes, it created just like this uh, project here. Now I can just go into this project and within this project, I can create multiple endpoints. So let's just say here, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new endpoint. And you can see you start by adding your Excel file. So we have our Excel file here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my Excel file, which has about 200 users. So I'm just going to go ahead and this one will just give us a preview. And the first thing that you do, most especially in your normal data, you will see that we don't have uh, most of this. You cannot rely on Excel file to give you a unique identifier. So the first thing that when you're just going to upload, I first do data cleaning and you just like add in, if you just look at the original data, looks like this. And if you look at this, we have the enhanced data API and we are adding IDs. We are also adding the created art and updated art. So if you scroll down, you just go ahead and configure the API. I'm just going to call this one users. I'm just going to call this one. This one uh, gives a list of Netflix users. 
and you can see here you will get api uh, support for gate post delete and even pagination you have sorting patch requests and all that so you can just go ahead and create the endpoint so within just uh, a few seconds we have an endpoint with about 199 uh, records and you can just look at we have a list of about five endpoints that you can interact with so i'm just going to go ahead and copy the first one just copy this link here i'm just going to go back to my testing client i just use http so i'm just going to go ahead and add this here i'm just going to go ahead and send for this request and you can see that within just seconds i have uh, an api and this is really interesting okay so api of course can be really hard to build if you're just going to build it from scratch but you can say for me just like build uh, a simple api and we don't stop there by the way so you may just be wondering that this is a public api so if you just go back here okay and i refresh you see that this is going to register the api calls you can see we have two api calls and and i can just secure these endpoints so if you just come back here you just going to see that uh, on the public access endpoints can be accessed without authentication so right now you can see that we are accessing our endpoint without any authentication like everyone on the internet can go ahead and access um this okay and we can just go ahead and stop that by protecting it with an api key so let's just go ahead and generate an api key and protect this endpoint and by the way of course you can just go ahead and view like for a single if i want i can just get this id here and then i can just pass it here I see ID equal and I paste this and if I send I should be able to get only one record so you can see here I have data for one single record and if I want I can also just like update this let me just go and get this name so I can just copy uh, this two things and let me just go ahead and change this endpoint into a patch and in a patch i can just simply say body and i can just say text uh let me just say text uh, here i'm just going to go ahead and paste in this i can go ahead and beautify this so i can beautify and let me change this to add uh muke jb I will just add country Uganda. Uh, just like this. And we can just go ahead and send this uh, request. And you can see resource updated successfully. And you can see that the name and the country has been updated. And this is really, really nice. If I just go ahead and just get a list of users. Okay uh list of users uh this is supposed to be a gate uh let me change it not a post let me change it to a gate endpoint okay so you can see i get back the data back so now if i just go back to the api here and let me just refresh And you can see now we have five api calls and i'm just going out to go ahead and restrict the access so let me just go ahead and just click on this and you can see now it says protected and you see all api requests to this pro uh, project endpoints require a valid api key so if we just go back and we try to access this now send uh let me just refresh oh let's first generate the api key first so i'm just going to go ahead and generate the api key so just go ahead and generate the api key so let's create api key a netflix api key i'm just going to create 
Okay, so this is our API key now. I'm just going to copy it. Now, let me just go back uh, to this. And let me just go and make a request. Uh, let me just, I think it has cached. Let me just going to get like for a single, uh, just going to say ID equal to this. Okay, nice. So you can see that they're saying API key required for this protected endpoint. So even if we go back to the other one, uh, let me just go to this and send again. You can see API key is required. Now let's go ahead and add our API key. So go back to our application and let's copy the API key. And now let's go back to this client. And now I can just go here in the gate and I can just add uh, params. In fact, I'm just going to add headers. I'm just going to add X API key. And let's add the value. And now if I just create the request, so this now brings the data and this is really nice. And building this application was really nice. Now we don't stop there. Actually, you can just get all the analytics. If you go back to the dashboard, you have all the analytics. You have one project, you have, um, I have one project and you have, uh, one endpoint and you have six api calls and you can see how these um the api calls have been distributed okay and then if you just go down here you can look at uh analytics for instance the project is called this and if you just go to uh api usage you get more uh interesting data on how you have been using your api so for the last seven days uh, 30 days total requests and if you just go also on analytics, you have more data to look at. For instance, the responses, how fast the responses are, if you have the fed responses and all that kind of stuff, you know, like this is really, really nice uh, with this service. Guys, just go ahead and try out this service. I'm just going to leave a link in the description uh, so that you can just go ahead and try this service. And right now we have just a free tier and we have also the documentation so if you just come here and you click on docs you can see that you have the documentation on what to do uh for instance there are three steps you create the project at your endpoint by uh uploading your excel file and then you can now start making requests and then you have the endpoints here how to authenticate and everything so i would just want to see you guys trying out this uh, application and maybe you build a simple app with it and then you share it in the comment section thank you